Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary and Reaper. This time I'm showing you the first step in the agriculture side of the industrial craft mod. So for this, you will need sticks, a hoe, and any of the vanilla plants. So, to get started, we need to craft crop blocks. So for these you'll need four sticks per two crop blocks and crops are placed in tilled soil so use a hoe and preferably do this near water because hydrated soil is so much more useful in this regard than unhydrated. So you hold the crop and you right click to place the crops in the tilled soil like this. So for this you can use almost all of the plants from vanilla. So you right click on the crop block to plant seeds, sugarcane or reeds, whatever you want to call them, nether wart, note they are planted on dirt and not soul sand, M melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, flowers and these are special because you need four flowers in, in your inventory to plant on a single crop block. As you can see one is placed on each. So you can do that for either kind of flower. And finally cocoa beans and before the newest update this is... and finally cocoa beans. As this was implemented before the newest thing this would be the only way to legitimately get cocoa beans and as you as you can see I can't place them and that's because cocoa beans have an additional requirement some plants in the agriculture part of industrial craft need special requirements before they can be planted so for cocoa beans they must be planted on top of four blocks of dirt so one two three four and then the block with the crops and then it allows me to plant it. And crops are very useful because the advantage they have over simply planting seeds in tilled soil or nether wart in soil sand or reeds along the river is when these are fully grown you can left click to destroy them or right click to harvest them and when you harvest them the crop itself remains in place and the plant will revert to its earliest form of growth and you will still get drops from it so in, in the case of seeds you'll still get wheat, reeds, netherwort, either melons or melon slices and pumpkins and then for these you get yellow dye, red dye and cocoa beans. Also melons and pumpkins grow within the block so you don't need a, an empty space next to them for, the, for them to grow into. And as you can see every single one goes through several stages. So the these flowers just get taller, the reeds look like they're actually growing up and the wheat goes through its normal growth cycle as, do, as does nether wart and these grow as the stalks do but then they go through some unique development stages. Obviously the advantages are that you can harvest them while still retaining the original plant in place but disadvantages are that they're much easier to destroy. After they removed being able to walk over things to trample them in vanilla it became much easier to maintain large farms in a much smaller space but crops still have that. It's entirely possible to remove a crop and anything growing on it simply by walking over it. So you need large alleyways between them if you don't want to accidentally trample your crops. The other disadvantage to crops are these, and these are weeds. And they look quite similar to seeds when they're freshly planted, but weeds are very dangerous to crops. Not only do they spring up when there is a crop left empty, but they can spread to adjacent crops as well as grow long grass and any dirt or grass next to it. 
Weeds will grow into adjacent crops, even if there is currently a plant on there, it will destroy the plant and take its place. And if you're not careful, a single fallow crop block can grow weeds and spread to destroy your entire facility. Luckily weeds are easy to destroy, all you need to do is click and it will destroy the weeds. It's worth noting that bone meal doesn't work on crop blocks. So I can right click and all it does is slightly speed up the growth, it doesn't actually instant growth it. Farming and agriculture in industrial craft is much more complicated than farming in vanilla. For example there are two qualities that are very important and they are air quality and hydration. And these are affected by biome, height and location. So first of all air quality, the higher up a farm is, the better the air quality to the point where at bedrock level plants will almost never grow and at the height limit they will grow quite quickly. Air quality is also affected by access to the sky so if you have them in a greenhouse it's advised to have at least four to six blocks above the plant which is just air. Hydration, however, is affected by proximity to water and biome. The best biomes are swamp, jungle, forest and plains and it's highly inadvisable to try and grow crops on any biome other than one of those four. Finally, to destroy crops, all you need to do is left click and hold it, is like destroying a normal block and it will drop it. One last detail about crop blocks is that if you're holding a crop you can right click on any empty crop to have the additional crop going sideways across it. This is used only in crossbreeding which I'll cover at a later date if people would like me to. Thank you for watching, if you have any requests please send me a YouTube comment and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Also if you have any requests not to do with the Technic Pack please let me know. Catch you later.